Lewis two sector model of economic development now this is uh, one of the model which is generally asked in whether you're preparing for semester exam <clears throat> indian economic services is economics optional or ugc net wherever so this is one of the very important model of uh, structural transformation in development economics and so basically what is this model telling that how economies can transform themselves structurally so it imagines uh, two sectors one is your traditional agricultural sector and other is your modern industrial sector and it is telling you how labor is moving from the traditional low productivity agricultural sector to modern high productivity industrial sector and when this transformation is taking place this leads to industrialization this leads to sustained economic growth now let us talk about the basic structure of the model so in this model there are two sectors one sector is the agricultural sector and other sector is the industrial sector so let's talk about the agricultural sector first so agricultural sector is something which is characterized by subsistence farming so people are producing goods or producing crops for themselves they are not producing for the market that is what the subsistence farming is right and it is overpopulated with labor so there are so many people uh, who are uh, employed in the agricultural sector that uh, many of these people are not any adding any value to the total output so maybe for example on one farm only two people are required and if the third person fourth person are going to come they are just going to sit there they are not adding any value so their mpl is zero marginal productivity of labor is zero mpl zero means what when you employ one more unit of labor the addition to the total output is zero so that surplus labor in agricultural sector is not adding any output it has its own implication right and its implication is that if this surplus labor is not adding any value to the agricultural sector you can easily shift it to the industrial sector output of agricultural sector will not fall when the input from agricultural sector will move from agriculture to industry output of agriculture is not falling why because it is not it was not adding any value to the agricultural sector right that's surplus labor technology in this sector is traditional it is stagnant it is not improving uh, so it's not that they are investing a lot in technology nothing doing stagnant agriculture no technological improvement is there and output is shared equally among all workers right so whatever output is being produced it is shared equally among all workers so let's say 100 units of output is being produced and if there are 10 labor then each one is getting 100 upon 10 which is 10 units as income so the average productivity of labor is nothing but the real wage so average productivity of labor means what total productivity upon labor so total product total product upon total product means total output total output upon number of people who are employed right so it also includes surplus labor everyone everyone is getting that same output level that is what ap that is what apl is so real wage or wage is equal to apl first point to consider and second important point to consider is that whatever surplus labor is there in the agricultural sector it is not adding any value to the total output so mpl is zero and if mpl is zero then this surplus labor can be easily transferred to the agriculture to the industrial sector and the uh, output of agricultural sector is not going to fall because this surplus labor was in any way not contributing anything anything to the agricultural sector so it could be easily transferred to the industrial sector you with me then you have modern industrial sector now if you look at modern industrial sector this sector is characterized by capitalist production what do you mean by capitalist production you are producing for the market it is not a subsistence farming it is not a subsistence se sector so they are producing it for the market they are working in order to make profits uh, and this sector has higher productivity than the agricultural sector 
right? Because they have better technology and all. Wages are fixed in this sector, but the wages which this sector is providing to their uh, labor that is higher than the wages provided by the agricultural sector. Then only agricultural surplus labor will be attracted to migrate to the industrial sector. Otherwise, why would they? Why would they migrate otherwise? So this is like an incentive which is given to the surplus labor in the agricultural sector that come and work in the modern industrial sector. We'll give you better wages than what agricultural sector is giving you. Second thing. Third thing, that these firms are profit maximizing. They are profit maximizing firms and they are working under perfect competition. So all firms are profit maximizing. They're not working uh, on subsistence, right? As, as the traditional agricultural sector is doing. And whatever profits they are earning, all of those profits are reinvested back into the business. Right. Whatever profits these firms are earning, those profits are reinvested back into the business. And with that, capital accumulation happens. And with that, productivity increases. And with that, growth happens and so on. Right. So that is the point. Labor demand is determined by MPL. So basically, let's say you have Q is equal to FL. That is what my production function. So profit is P into Q minus W into L. I'm, it's a very simplistic uh, way. So in place of Q, you can write FL minus WL. So I'll find out that level of labor, which is going to maximize my profit. So it is PF dash L minus W equals to zero. So you have F dash L equals to W by P. Basically you have MPL equals to W by P. So firms, these profit maximizing firms are going to employ labor up to the point where marginal productivity of labor is equal to the real wage. So that is what is meant by labor demand is determined by MPL, right? So we'll talk about the assumptions and the working of the model in the next class. So I hope it was useful to you. Thank you. Buddha.